wanna take you home with me, baby. You and me alone tonight. Test drive time again. I got a 1969 Chevy Chevelle sitting here. This one's got the 350 under the hood. Power steering, power brakes, a little bit of chrome. Air cleaner valve covers. Guys, there's detailed pictures. There's financing and shipping at maplemotors.com. Be sure to go there. Check it out. Throughout this video, I'm going to be going over the flaws, picking out the stuff that you need to know about before you get here. This one here's got dual exhaust out the back. Vinyl top, blue paint job. And the paint job's a little weak on this one. Of course, we'll be going over everything. It's got the love seat on the inside. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this video. There's detailed pictures on our website at maplemotors.com. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to pick up some merchandise, we got t-shirts and stuff on the website as well. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Okay, we're getting ready to take off here, but place those bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? Coming across the dash pad. That show looks pretty clean. Not bad at all. Her shifter? I like that shifter. It's different. Carpet looks good. Show you the mileage. 80,000. That's what it says. Steering's nice and silky. Turn signals look like they're popping up right there on the dash. Place those bats. Do you think that horn works? Don't forget, wipers do work. Blower motor's kicking on. Radio's working. Package tray and headliner. Super clean. Tilt column. All right, see if the horn works. It's clicking. It wants to honk so bad. It's just not going to. It's making a clicking noise and that's it. All right, you want to go for a ride? Come on. Hello. Yeah. Wife's going to ride with me today. This is Bree. And if you need a house, she can sell them. She, that's what she does. She's a realtor for the local Nashville area. All right, guys, I guess we're ready to take off. Would you like to take over on the camera? Sure. All right, let's do it. All right, got you in the bag. She said she didn't want to sit with me. <laughs> <laughs> got a good view from back here. Good. <laughs> She's doing it for y'all. <laughs> here we go. Going to the gas station because I think the gas gauge does work. It's like below quarter tank. Got an open road. Hang on. Straight as an arrow going down the road. Speedometer seems a little bit fast. It says we're going 60. I think we're going about 45. Steering is tight. Back in the throttle. Kick down, hooked up, so we got a good passing gear here. All right, now we're gonna try these brakes out. Nice brakes. <laughs> nice brakes, dude. <laughs> Making our throttle. If you put it to the floor, it hesitates for a second. But overall, the suspension feels good. The steering's tight. The throttle, a little hesitation, and it takes off. Back on our brakes. People think I'm driving crazy. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put about $20 worth of 93 octane fuel in this ride. Then we're gonna go to eat somewhere because that's why you're here, right? Yep. Yeah. It's gonna be a theater. I can do that. No problem. Is that payment for holding the camera? Yep. All right. <laughs> Again, twenty dollars with a ninety-three. It's on E. Let me see it. Come on, show them. We're living on a prayer right now. It's about to run out. But hey, at least we're at the gas station. 
Place your bets. Think that gas gauge works? I'm gonna say it does. Just because it's up just a little bit. And I think we're gonna be at half a tank or over when we leave. All right, $20 worth of premium fuel in this ride here. Like I said, 93, and the gas prices are coming down, so. Oh, that's cool. A little paint on the cap there. Let's go ahead and check that gauge and see if it works. As I turn the key on, look at that gauge just rise up. Should make it to half the tank. Or close to it. Still on the rise. Good deal. guys getting ready to head back to the lot got y'all on the head cam thank you wonderful and she took some videos of the outside which is awesome and the song at the beginning is hers i made a little wedding album for us you know back when we got married years ago but yeah i recorded all that myself at the house believe it or not i've got a lot of songs like that and there's a lot of things that i'll just randomly run on the channel here if you don't like soft music and she said, screw you. <laughs> I like all music. I'm pretty pretty big variety here. I've done it my whole life. Started out in rock and roll. Because that just meshes well with muscle cars. <laughs> the country, the soft rock. Even remixing chick songs. Why not? She thought it was awesome. But this car hasn't given me any issues. When we get back to the lot, then we'll check out this paint job. We'll see why it looks so flat and it's like an older paint job. Interior's nice. 
car is running and driving nice. That's the best thing about it. We'll see what's going on with the paint here just shortly. Another thing, if you do like that music, you can check out the other stuff that we put out. Just type in Nick Southgate on any music platform and it'll pull up a few of my songs. Or you can go to Southgate Production, which is another channel here on YouTube. I've actually got like five or six channels, but this is the one that I use every day. To sell these cars. Got an adventure channel too with the kids where we take them different places like Colorado and go snowmobiling. They painted lines in the road. Look at the bump. Look, brand new lines. Watch, they're gonna fix the bump next. <laughs> Wonder if this is gonna skip a tire or something. Sure sounded like it. <laughs> Shucks. I'm just kidding. All right, we're gonna pull in here. I'm gonna do some outside videoing. Picking out the flaws is coming your way. Again, thank you for coming along with the test drive. She decided she didn't want to go to lunch. She's crazy. She's tired of me. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm here to pick out the flaws. Let's walk around this ride and see what we can find. Detailed pictures are at maplemotors.com. Paint job is weak on this one. I can see that for sure. Front end here, you've got a lot of little pitting, a lot of paint coming off around your headlight bezels. The chrome bumper on this one looks pretty good. Light scratches on top. Spot there. A little bit of pitting on this side too. This could be repainted and touched up though. Flat on the paint in between the bumper and the grill. Holes, chips. Little scuffs there in the corner. Chips. It's got overspray on it chips overspray spots in the paint chips rust cracks in the paint there bubbles Standing marks back here. Sanding marks in the back here as well. Chips. I still see this comment, but I'm just, I'm just gonna let you know a Malibu is a trim package of a Chevelle. They're all Chevelles. Every one of them. Just like your SS is your performance, your Malibu is your trim package. You can look that up, Google it, whatever you want to do. But it's all going to come back to that. Those spots. You know, as the years went on, Malibu becoming some car. Scratches, chips, scratches up top.
a little overspray on that trim there, but it should come up. Come off. Come out. Gonna be looking good. <laughs> Front windshield looks good though. Door handle's got a little peeling going on. Walking up to the back here. Sorry about that loud truck in the background. I didn't know he was going to be in the parking lot. Hopefully it's not too much in the video. Chip there. See overspray on the seal in the trunk, but the seal looks good. Spare tire jack. Water. This seal is not doing its job. It's got a lot of water in here. I'm gonna leave that up because this is solid and I don't want it to start rusting. You can see up in the corner there where they put some goop. You can see over here something's been done. What is this line? Let's look at this side, see if it's got a line too. Yep. So it's been replaced at one time. Oh, sorry. Coming on down with the trunk lid. This lock. Trim there's a little dinged up. Little spot. Chips. Chips up here as well. You've got a bunch of scratches going down the side. See in the paint there. Or rust in the back corner here. But down this side, you got chips at the bottom. You got little bubbles in the paint. Chips up here. Hello, sir. How's it going? Oh, this is Dr. Diet Clinic. Uh, I won't speak enough. <laughs> I'm just playing. They're over there. <laughs> Little chips at the bottom here. Chips there. Little cracks in the paint, chips. Oh, that guy was one of the transportation guys pull up sometimes I'll mess with them. <coughs> little chips up front <coughs> there we go back your midsection chips on the edge of the door chip there Hazy door handle. You know, under the vinyl top seems pretty solid. I haven't really seen any bubbles. There's one there. Funny I say that. Every time I say something like that, I'll find something, which is fine. That's what I'm doing here. 
If I'm not finding it, I'm not doing my job. The front here looks good. Seal looks good around that window. Little cracks down here. Mirror looks good. Chips. A little haziness going on up here. Good deal. Made it around the outside. Let's go ahead and open up that door and check out the interior. Opening the door here. A little screw in the corner. Somebody added. Not supposed to be there. Little cracks in this corner as well. That's been repaired. Little Bondo in this car. Chips. Chips around on the inside of the door. The seat looks good. Oh, a little wear there. Carpet's been replaced. Headrest there's got a crack. Back of that seat looks nice. All right, we'll look on this side, and then I'm gonna scoot all my stuff over. Guys, you wanna see what I use? Look below in the description. I've got everything listed with links along with merchandise. And next year I may end up making some hoodies. I thought about making them this year, but man, it was gonna cost me almost $40 a hoodie just to make them. So, <laughs> even if I priced them at what I had in them, it would still be $55 to get it to you. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to figure something else out because I'm not gonna pay that for for the hoodies. I want to try to get the prices down. That's why I started doing the shirts the way I do them because I can add stuff to the package. I still got them fairly cheap. I got them cheaper than it was before, and I've got multiple designs, better material, and I inspect each one before I send it out. It's just a better way of doing things. What do we got in here? Some goodies. All right. That's cool to have. Sorry, I got paint on my hand. Last night I was painting some stuff, some emblems for my Camaro. And my dog, I believe this, my dog got a hold of the emblem when I got done with it. I couldn't believe it. Jealous. <laughs> Yeah, as far as running and driving, mechanically sound car here. Cosmetically, it has some issues. Needs a little bit of work. But you know about it. That's the best part. Motor's just quiet. Missing insulation under the hood. No big deal. Shut her down. That doesn't look all the way shut, does it? There it is.
the hood has the best paint of the whole car. You can see the difference between the hood and the fender right here. Hazy clean. They must have had this covered up. <laughs> A little crack there. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. There's detailed pictures at maplemotors.com along with shipping and financing. If you hit subscribe and share this video, that's going to help me out quite a bit. And I'll keep these videos rolling for you. I've got a whole car lot full of muscle cars that I need to test drive. So I'll be back. Thanks for watching.